Happy holidays, Laker fam. Now, before we get into today's video, I want to give you all a chance to predict the score for the next Lakers game. It is going to be the first game of 2020, first game of the new year for our Los Angeles Lakers. They are playing the Phoenix Suns Wednesday night at 7.30. So go ahead right now and comment down below what you think the score of that game is going to be. I'm going to go out on record right now and say that the Lakers are going to win 110 to 98, but comment down below and let me know what you think the score of that that game is going to be but let's get into it because we've got a very exciting video today for you guys we've got to break down all of the latest Laker news and of course talk some trade rumors here on Lakers report by chat sports starting right now What's up, Laker fam? I hope you guys have been having a very nice holiday season so far with your families and friends and loved ones. I know I sure have, but what I have also been enjoying equally as much are these last two Laker wins. The Lakers have ended this year off on a strong suit, getting some really tough wins against two really nice teams and are definitely going into 2020 on a strong note. But we have a lot to talk about here today. You're watching Lakers Report by Chat Sports, all things. Lakers. As always, I'm your host, Hannah Kulik, aka Laker Hand, and let's just kick off today's video by wishing a very, very happy birthday to LeBron James because King James turned 35 Monday, December 30th, and obviously he had a plethora of people wishing him well on his special day, from celebrities, athletes, to friends, family, to of course former and current teammates, everyone and their mother, brother, cousin, sister, aunt, uncle was wishing LeBron James a happy birthday. So Laker fam, let's give LeBron some love down in the comments and wish him a very happy 35th birthday. Honestly, it is pretty darn crazy that at 35 and for as long as he's been playing he's still playing at such a high level definitely one of a very very rare very special talent I hope he enjoyed his day I was watching his Instagram stories snapchats Twitter it really seemed like he did have a great day but let's all take a second to wish the king a very happy birthday in the comments below but moving on and continuing on this little LeBron James path LeBron had some very interesting comments. He said that he could see himself passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for being the number one scorer on the NBA's scoring list. Now LeBron is currently fourth in the NBA all-time scoring list. He only needs 297 points to pass up Kobe Bryant, which I know that's going to be a little bit of a tough day for me just because I am such a big Kobe Bryant fan, but still LeBron, even though he is 35, is getting older, could still very well pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. And if you ask LeBron, that is definitely part of his plan. Like I said a little bit earlier in this video, it is truly amazing how well LeBron is playing at age 35. You know, there are a lot of players who are just shells of themselves at this age, players who aren't even able to make it to this stage in their career. And for LeBron to be playing for as long as he's played, to be the age he is, and to still be playing at such a high level, the level that he is playing, Playing. Currently, right now, this season, he's averaging 25.5 points per game. He's leading the league in assists right now at 10.8 assists per game. It's truly unbelievable. You know, I know a lot of people like to use the hashtag Wash King. LeBron himself has even embraced that hashtag. But I think we can all agree that LeBron James is definitely anything but a washed king. So it's definitely going to be a little bit of a challenge for LeBron to beat Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and be the number one scorer of all time in the NBA. But still, you know, if you're the king, it's a great goal to have and he very well could happen. Definitely don't count him out just yet. But right now, I'm just very impressed with the performance that LeBron has been putting on for us this season and very excited to see him hopefully lead this Lakers team to a championship. Now, we still have to talk about the latest trade rumors regarding our purple and gold. But before we do, I want to take a second here to remind you guys that we are having some awesome holiday sales up to 50% off on our Lakers gears. We got hats, sweatshirts, t-shirts, sweatpants, you name it, we have 
have it and we have some great discounts on it so definitely make sure to check out the links in the description below we're gonna have all of the links to all of our Lakers gears items make sure you definitely check it out because these are some great discounted prices on some Lakers gears and who does not want to start off this new year 2020 rocking our purple and gold I know for one I'm wearing purple right now so I definitely do but definitely make sure you check out the links in below for all of those sales but moving on let's talk about some trades now could Kyle Kuzma be on the trading block now, Kuz has definitely been involved in his fair share of trade rumors so far this season, and it's unfortunate because, you know, Kuz is really struggling this season, really not being that consistent third scorer, that third star that we were all hoping he would be. Ever since coming back from this recent ankle injury, he had two really solid performances where he actually led the Lakers in scoring in two games, but then followed it up with a game where he actually went scoreless, which I know is something that he's not really happy about, especially since Kobe Bryant was in attendance to that game, who was one of his biggest heroes and idols. So obviously Kuz knows he's been struggling. He's been very frustrated and I haven't given up hope yet. I have seen him improve a lot on the defensive end, but offensively he has really been inconsistent and the Lakers need a guy who's going to be able to be more consistent and help offensively. We can't really rely on just purely relying on AD and LeBron. We need a third scoring option and since Kuz has consistently not been that guy a lot of people are thinking that actually the Lakers may be looking to move him now the Lakers haven't necessarily made Kuz available in trade negotiations but according to Andrew Miller's fan sided Pippins ain't easy he came out and said that if they do a team that would be heavily interested in him is the Chicago Bulls which of course makes a lot of sense for Chicago they are a young talented team and honestly Kuz playing for Chicago may honestly be the best thing for him he would be able to be a starter get a lot of playing time make a huge role with that team I think it would really help Kuz offensively although I definitely don't want to see him be traded but it clearly makes a lot of sense for why Chicago would want to be interested in Kuz but would the Lakers be interested in anything that Chicago would offer I don't really think so this same report is saying that if Chicago were to trade for Kuz a trade package that they would include would be Otto Porter Jr Chris Dunn and Chandler Hutchinson and in my opinion Lakers are definitely not taking that trade for starters Otto Porter Jr is still injured so he's unable to play and then having Chris Dunn and Chandler Hutchinson just doesn't really do anything for us those are two young players as we all know the Lakers are in win now mode so in my opinion if we're going to be trading Kyle Kuzma which I'm going to go out on record right now and say I don't want to do but if we do it better be for a player that is going to help us right now and really be able to make a solid contribution to this team immediately really take us to that next level and be a consistent scorer and help us win a championship and i'm sorry but Otto porter jr chris dunn and chandler hutchinson's are just not those guys but the Lakers are going to have a very tough time just in general making really any trades this season and potentially even next season. We're going to kind of talk all about that and discuss why actually the Lakers only options may just be to wait and see who gets bought out by their team. But before we do, I want to make sure that you guys are subscribed here on Chat Sports. Hit that subscribe button down below. Come and join this Lakers Report family and while you're at it, Go ahead and give me a follow on my Instagram at Hannah Rose Kulik and my Twitter at Hannah underscore Kulik to keep up with all things Lakers and of course some fitness things as well. It's the new year if you're looking to get in shape for the new year. You guys know I love to post workout videos and fitness tips on my Instagram and a little bit on my Twitter as well. So definitely make sure you subscribe here, join the Lakers Report family and give me a follow on all of my social media handles. But let's talk a little bit about the Lakers and why they actually don't really have have any options trading and while their best bet is probably most likely just going to be to wait and see which player gets bought out. Now I know the Lakers are tied to a lot of trade rumors but honestly their best bet may just be to wait and see which players are bought out by their teams because like I said you know putting aside Kyle Kuzma KCP is another guy that's been heavily involved in a lot of trade talks but we all have to remember that KCP has to approve any trade and I don't really see him doing that I don't know why he would want to leave the Lakers team that is one of the top championship contending teams to go and play for another team that may not even make the playoffs just doesn't seem very logical in my mind so I don't think KCP 
would want to do that. Now, the Lakers don't really have a lot of trade assets. We don't really have any draft picks. We could, of course, this upcoming summer, trade that 2020 NBA draft pick, whichever pick we do get in order to maybe sign a player or two this summer. But in terms of right now, we don't really have a lot to work with. So our best bet at this moment, honestly, is just to pretty much wait and kind of see what happens with this buyout market. Obviously, we still are waiting to see what happens with Andre Iguodala, that whole Memphis situation. We have guys like Marcus Morris, Jeff Teague. We have Alan Crabe, still some guys that could potentially um, be available for the Lakers to pick up. So the Lakers are just going to have to pay close attention to this buyout market, really see what happens. But of course, a trade could still very well be made. There are still a lot of players who have been reportedly tied to the purple and gold, including this recent story where the Lakers are potentially looking to trade for Robert Covington. Now, according to LA Sports Hub, Minnesota is reportedly shopping Robert Covington around and they believe he would be the perfect fit for this Lakers squad and really help them both in three-point shooting and in defense. They believe he is that perfect complement 3 and D wing player to LeBron and AD. Now he's a tremendous defender, but his three point shooting has gone down a little bit this season at only 33%. But again, they are saying that, you know, playing with LeBron and AD, he's gonna be getting some wide open looks. They would expect his three to start falling at a much higher consistent rate. Now, again, this would have to be via trade. If the trade were to happen, the Lakers would get Robert Covington and then of course a 2020 NBA second round draft pick and the Minnesota Timberwolves would get, they would get Kyle Kuzma, they would get Quinn Cook, Talon Horton Tucker, Jared Dudley, and a 2020 NBA first round draft pick. So not necessarily sure if this is something that is going to happen. Again, this is just something that is being reported on, but you could see Robert Covington having a big contribution with this team, but it would be a lot to give up for him, especially a little bit reluctant, including Kyle Kuz in that package, because I don't really want to trade Kuz. I know a lot of people are down on him because he's been inconsistent this season, but I still want to give him a shot, give him to the NBA All-Star break before we make any full acquisitions on Q's season this season. But nonetheless, you know, Robert Covington is a very good player. Again, he's a great 3 and D player, and that's something that the Lakers could really use. They need a good wing defender, and of course, as we all know, they need someone who can knock down those three-point shots at a consistent rate. So let me know down in the comments below if you think that Robert Covington would be a good fit for this Lakers team, and if you think that that trade package is too much, or what you would be comfortable with offering in order to get a guy like Covington to come and play for us this season. But that is going to be it today, talking about all of the latest Laker news and of course some trade rumors. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a double thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I hope you guys have a very, very happy new year and I will see you in 2020. Until next time, Laker Hand is out. Bye guys!